The second stage is to create an advanced filter based on the item the ID selected in the combo box S104 in this case. To do that, let's go to Developer. Um, we're going to re so it was recording. We're going to record ourselves creating the filter. So record macro macro three. Um, then we go up to data, advanced. The list range is the entire table, as you see there, with the headings, critical. The criteria range are the headings once again, but this time one row down, so we highlight the S104. And the copy to another location is where I want my answer to appear, and it's in these headings there. Press OK. They appear there. Back to developer. Stop recording. Now the final thing we want to do is not create a button to attach to this. We actually want to find the macro that we created. So if you go up to, still in developer, go up to macros, select macro 3, edit, and you'll see it'll appear flashing here. And the information that we're interested in is the black text range down to end sub. If I copy that, close all of these windows, and now if I go into design mode, click on our combo box, right click, view code, and we'll paste it in there. That one's already there, it shouldn't be, but it'll come up like this. And control V. Now if I close everything again there, get out of design mode, what will occur now is that as soon as I select an item it automatically runs the macro which in turn runs the filter and finds it. So we get a seamless connection between the two. Okay, just rewind and watch this again to make sure you're okay with doing this.